It is 12, 10 a.m. And we just made it into our hotel in Richmond. <laughs> We left San Francisco at um, like 11 local time. And then we just got here with like the next day, <laughs> which is kind of funny. We have survived off of uh, grilled chicken salads from the airport all day long. I think in total we had like three of them <laughs> and lots of water. I had to, uh, Oh my gosh, I had to like pee 80 million times on the airplane because of like all this sodium that I've ate the past couple of days and I was like trying to over drink water just to help like flush it all out. And I swear to you, I had to go get up to, to go pee on the airplane like at least nine times on the first flight. Ready? Got my coffee. in Richmond, Virginia. It's a beautiful day. We're about to do two segments. So we're gonna do the cravings crusher and I'm gonna show some workout moves. Um, this will be the first one where we actually do two. So this is gonna be really fun to actually get to like work out. I just hope with all this hair that I have in, that's not like crazy in my face while I'm going around. Welcome back. It's estimated that 85 million women start a new diet five times each year without much success. Our next guest has transformed her life by losing 65 pounds in seven months and was inspired to take her newfound fitness to the next level, competing on the national stage in the International Federation of Bodybuilders. She's written a new best-selling weight loss book, Big Fat Lies. We welcome fitness expert Kaylin Toole Poolin to Virginia this morning. It's great to meet you. Good. Thanks for having me. already made me feel the burn before we went to break, right? Yes. And I'm still feeling it, and I just did a little teeny tiny workout, so I can only imagine a full one. Mm -hmm. But after that, I know what it's like to be hungry after working out. Yes, yes, yes. You're Instagram and my friends, Jock and Angela. They're giving us a tour of Virginia right now. It's the best Uber drivers ever. We actually met them on a catamaran in Puerto Rico right after we got married. And they just got engaged and Angela was all like, oh my gosh, I see your flip flops say bride. Did you guys just get married? And I was like, yes. And then we became instant best friends. And now like when we lived in Puerto Rico, they came and visited us. And they came and visited us living in Albuquerque. And now we're here and they scooped us up from the news station this morning. We just had breakfast and we went to a candy store and got praline. You mean you ate a sample? Yeah, I ate a sample. <laughs> 